What's up guys? Baker here. I have a tutorial today about uh, text using trap code form and uh, it's essentially like this text explosion effect in this video. Kind of explodes and kind of wiggles like smoke almost so cool smoke effect and um, let's just jump straight into it real quick. So we'll make a new comp, and this can be uh, in your main comp or whatever, and uh, call it stuff and stuff. So um, basically, this is going to be in our, uh, let's just say this is our main comp, right? What you want to do is make a new comp and call this uh, text, and because uh, our text needs to be pre-composed, essentially. So we'll just type in some text like Baker, and um, you can use this... Um, not sure how thick looking font looks, but I felt um, thinner fonts like this do look a little bit better. So I don't know, up to you and, and uh, just mess around and play with it and stuff. But um, let's just say that's all the text I want. And uh, we need it to be see through like this. So see through and text. So what we're going to do is go into our stuff, our main comp, bring out the text layer. And um, so let's say we have our text and we can animate it, whatever and then you want to trim it at some point where you want it to explode so we'll make a new solid we'll call this the uh, form text and just go ahead and trim it the other side and the uh, trim shortcuts are alt begin bracket and alt end bracket for these two so anyways so we're in our text form text and we're going to use trap code form this is a third party plugin so uh, go ahead and find your way around that and go check it out and stuff. So we get some particles here. Zoom in. And uh, it's pretty sweet and we're done. Alright, just kidding. We're gonna go to base form and first change our size to 1280 by 720. Essentially the same exact size as our comp. And the particles in Z we're gonna set to 1. So we just get a nice looking grid all the way across our composition. We're going to go down, close this, and go to Layer Maps. Open this up, and I'm just going to collapse these really quick so it doesn't look like we have a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to go to Color and Alpha. Choose our custom layer, our text layer. We're going to use RGBA, which is our alpha channel, and colors. So um, we're going to map over X and Y. And now you can kind of see get some text but it's not really filled in so we're gonna go to uh, base form we're gonna punch up the particles in X and Y instead of 70 let's just start with uh, 1280 in the X and 720 in the Y so essentially we have one particle per pixel in this case and uh, we can change the particle settings like the sphere feather or the size we can bump this up but we start to lose um, our sharpness so I'm gonna start with one or two, just so we get, uh, you know, one particle per pixel and stuff. And um, so let's just check this out. So it goes from regular text to our form text. And what we can do here is go into the uh, disperse settings, I believe. Maybe not. What was it? Let's see. What does disperse do again? Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, we're going to go into the fractal field. That's probably what it is. Okay. And we're going to go right when it uh, splits and stuff. And we are going to keyframe the displace, I believe. So let's see what this looks like. There we go. There's our smoky effect. So I'm going to go ahead and keyframe the displace right here. Move forward maybe two seconds. And I, I need to crank this up a lot. So I want this to be really out there up to a thousand I think I use cl pretty close to a thousand I'm just going oops one thousand so it's a nice spreading the only thing I don't like is um let me turn down this resolution it kind of wiggles a lot and you you can go for that if you want but to get rid of that I'm gonna change the flow evolution down to something small like five so it'll essentially just explode and kind of keep going in that direction as if it had uh, momentum and it wasn't wiggling and the five the very small evolution makes it kind of wiggle as if there was um, a little bit of air or something so I also want to push you and go to our displace go to um, 
graph editor and instead of just a constant displace I want to click the first keyframe easy ease out but bring this up this way so that it shoots out fast and then it gradually slows down something like this so it goes shoots out fast so a very nice explosion and then slows down afterwards um, another thing I can do to make it um, a little less dotty you can increase the base form, increase the particles, but then that gets uh, a lot slower. You can just add a simple, I don't know, vector blur I used, CC vector blur. And uh, we're going to change the lightness to alpha channel and turn the mount up to 15. Oops, 15. So you can kind of get this look, or you can change natural to perpendicular, kind of get a different smoky look and uh, maybe just use a little bit of curves to punch up the color so we're going to go to alpha pump up the alpha there we go so that's our kind of smoke um, another thing you can do is make a quick adjustment layer add some slight twitch so I'll go right when it splits right here in the middle keyframe it at 100 go backwards just a few frames down to zero few frames afterwards down to zero so now we have three keyframes and uh, we'll go back to the middle and we can turn on um, some slide some scale maybe a little bit of light and we'll go to operator controls and I want to turn the slide down just a little bit so it'll just kind of shake and kind of snap it to make it explode that's what I was kind of going for and uh, explodes out and I think that looks pretty cool so I don't know about you and um, the other example I want to show you real quick is uh, my agony OCE or there's a bunch of particles and it comes together into this what you do here is just take a still frame of your clip and mask it out and that's what you're gonna have pre-composed in your text layer so you're gonna have you know the gun down here and it's going to be see-through that's what the mask is for and then it's exactly the same except now you're going backwards so the displace um, value right here the parameter you're going to keyframe it from something high to uh, something low and uh, I actually use a 3D camera in the beginning so you can actually if you um, have a uh, cinematic and you motion tracked it or something you have a real 3D camera you can go ahead and uh, you know rotate around these particles because this is in 3D space kind of see that and uh, I think that might look kind of cool if you want um, you know 3D tracked text so I don't know just think about it mess it around but that is the essentials of using trap code form and text you have a custom pre-composed text layer you um, cut off the RGB alpha using the layer maps and then just kind of displace it, make it look like smoke, and uh, it's pretty sweet. So go ahead, like, comment, favorite, share, uh, whatever you want. Um, check me out on Facebook or Twitter, talk to me up there, things like that. And um, let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have any questions and stuff. So, yeah, that's about it. Peace.